What is up, and this is John, it's your boy IBS Kelso. And today's video, pretty bummed out yesterday that I didn't qualify. It's like every week, <laughs> I'm like points off. Like I literally was like point three off of getting bottom qual. And I, I'm not looking to be a top qualifier guy. I know I'm not that guy, and I'm no like I'm, I'm able to get to that bottom qual. And it's always one spot or one section that I just literally mess up on. And it's honestly on me, you know what I mean? So, hey, I'll take it. But this was actually a really good track, and I felt like I just had a bad tire combination and just a bad drivetrain to keep myself going forward. So that's what we're going to practice here, and just hopefully we can keep some good race pace because I just personally think my, my qualifying speed is nowhere near my race pace, and that's just the most unfortunate thing. So hopefully we can fight through some of this pack. There we go. Okay. 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 It's that Honda guy. It's the same Honda guy that took me out. He don't know how to ride. Look at him, man. He's going left to right, dude. Make it make sense just for a bit. I know he's going to take this outside, bro. Make it make sense, bro. <laughs> like, chat. You just... Like, guys, you just can't make that up, bro. Like... It's like literally inevitable. It's like you gotta like really play. You got you gotta ride for everybody else in this game. That's what I've really understand. That's what I like really, I've came to understand. Like everybody that even makes the pro scene, like literally has like such bad racecraft. You know what I mean? Like you just you really just gotta ride for them, uh, and it's unfortunate. But honestly, no biggie. Just hopefully learn here sooner or later. You know. But, yeah, I dropped down from a 1350 just to a 1250. I wanted to see if I'm just going to get more RPM out of it. Um, I might be, like, doing myself in wrong, but we'll see. That's number one guy. He definitely fell back pretty hard just now, so. What's up here, though? Really enjoying this Yamaha, though. I know, like, I'm on the verge of, like, every time that, like, I'm ready to qualify and stuff like that, you'd see either... I don't have the right tires on. I don't have the right meta on. I'm not following the right, you know, lines. Where this literally was all one line the whole time, and I think right here was my hardest spot. I kept trying to go inside. Oh, dang. I kept trying to go inside for no reason and cut down when I needed to just rail the outside, and that literally lost me my time. Like I think I would have literally qualified maybe 38th or 37th, and it just wasn't happening. So I ran a 220.2, and I know I had a, a 219 in me. Just unfortunate events. I do like the 1250 for sand. I feel like I can stay in fourth gear and kind of go crazy. But then again, I think it kills my power and the longevity of it. I'm sorry, dude. I'm not going to lie. I just, just can't allow you to have that. Can't allow you to have that spot. It allows me to stay in fourth gear at least and third. And I think I'm able to go fully wicked out here, fifth gear. So I might be doing myself a wrong here by going actually a 1250, but it does keep me up in that high spot of a higher gear, which I do enjoy. I don't know why I do enjoy it, but I just think I like not giving that much. I, I just feel like I'm not giving myself value when I'm only staying in second gear. But if RPMs and my like speed is where it's at and Second gear, I guess I just don't need to complain. See this guy's line choice. Copy. Yeah, definitely one line track everywhere. I mean, it was absolutely insane to know that. Very fast track, dude. I did not expect people to be running like as fast as they did, bro. It's insane. I don't know. But once again, kudos to them, bro. They literally just, they do it, man. They, they find out the lines and they, they don't look back, man. Feeling nice though on this 90. Like I feel like that was, was like with this new update happening, like I feel like the perfect co tire combination for a, for a 250 right now is definitely like a 110 on the back, at least in sand. A 110 and then a 90. Like the 90 is allowing you not to front tuck as much. It's a little bit rounder tire and allowing you to turn the bike over. And I just have noticed, like, front hooks kind of just 
gone out the window for me. Definitely riding a little bit smoother, a little bit more planted. So, like I said, it was L on me, dude. I was running like a 180, dude, and it was like hard to keep the bike from front tucking at times. You have to put so much pressure towards that front tire. There we go. Yeah, I didn't know about that line either, that you literally could take that full outside and that, and that set you up for this. I was literally just messing up, dude. Like, it's simple, simple things like that I just wasn't aware of. And it's just so unfortunate. But hopefully Red Butt, you know, I, I really come back and better and really just train. Like, especially this. Especially this track now being out. I can really train, and this is going to allow me to understand how much more I actually need to focus on line choices and then, like, reading the track to where it's like, okay, Ben, like, we're... we're I thought I was taking enough outsides and I wasn't. I was taking enough outsides and corners and railing and I really wasn't. You know what I mean? Like, it just goes to show, like, I'm just, I'm off, I'm off the little bit of the pace that I should be running. And it's, it's simple minor mistakes that I need to touch up and fix, but hopefully you can get Red Bug completed and it'd be amazing. I felt like if I would have made it to the main, I really feel like I have really good race pace here. I, I don't think I would have been, I don't think the, like the E-Road or anything would have had like a problem with me. Like you guys can see it now. Like I, I feel really comfortable on this track and it's just unfortunate. I just could not show my skills off for that in a race and I have to try to, and I have to make it do qualifying, you know? But if I wish I could just have somebody play the game for me for qualifying, <laughs> like play the game for me for qualifying and I'll do the rest, dude, I would take that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Like, here, bro, here's the sticks, qualify for me, and then, like, let me do the race space, man. Like, that's literally all I think I'm missing out on. We'll get there. Like that line, too. Yeah, see, I think the 90 in the front just literally, literally not lets you freaking front tuck with beta 19 at the moment. So I think the 90s are a little bit better now, since, like, if you're going to have a lot of front tuck moments... And um, I was watching Lindsay's stream, dude. It's crazy. It's almost like I came out with a video about it, and he was talking about like how much more pressure you need to put on this front tire. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, man, it's almost like, like, you know, it's like IRL riding. Like, like, and you don't need to change your settings. You just need to adjust. Like, I think that's what he was like, basically saying. Like, it's gonna be feel weird because now you have to do something that you've not been like able or like prone to do, and that's literally leading more towards forward, towards on your bike. And I was kind of happy that another person, especially at his high caliber, could see that. So it was like I wasn't fibbing. And it, like like I said, it's probably not going to be super exaggerated now. You know what I mean? It's not going to be a super exaggerated feeling. But when those new OEM bikes, like that's literally what they were waiting for. It was <laughs> the OEM team literally was waiting for this update. So all the weight would push to the front end of the bike so they can actually have more of that spin out on the back of the tire. There you have it, baby. <laughs> so all in a good time, right? All in good time. I think the top people are on... I think those two people up there are on 450s, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm always happy to know that when I'm in a lobby with 450s, I'm always the next runner-up, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm always the next bike or next 250 to be kind of cooked out. Because, really, if you look at the at the timing right now, they're kind of pushing P against each other. And then I've got, like, a 30-second gap or 20-something gap behind the per like behind me, so... I will say I'm, I'm I'm definitely in my privateer life right now to where if I go to the track against other pros, I'm literally getting waxed. But when I go to my local spot, a local spot, you know what I mean? Like I'm definitely there and a top contender, um, a podium guy at least. And that's just that's just where I'm at, man. I'm, I'm there to accept it too, man. You know, at the end of the day, it's a video game. It's fun. You know, making pro events don't get you paid. It's just it's cool to do it. You know, it's cool to be like, damn, I made that. You know, I, I made Southwood this, this year, so super sick but unfortunately can't put that under my belt this year and i feel like i'm definitely a little bit better and i've at supercross than i am outdoors but it all will come in time as we're oh yeah. i definitely clipped my handlebars no i feel like i was actually pushing up some speed a good little eight minute eight minute plus two i think or plus one i think i probably could have stayed close to them and i messed up like a podium at least yeah this right here this was the spot that i kept trying to go inside for no reason and i could have took this whole outside and i think the only thing i could really probably work on for the next moto if i wanted to was definitely just change my gearing from 1250 to 1350 
um, and just like suck it up because I definitely see myself a little bit more in third gear just because there's a little bit higher RPMs and I'm definitely making 50 but I, I only get to like 50 miles per hour in fourth gear on this so it's a huge drastic change oh no my second crash no not towards the end of the moto not towards the end of the moto here we go locked back in though also huge shout out to RC um, designs and huge shout out to Cryco uh, recently Still rocking that Cryco bike. I really just enjoy it for the Yamaha. And then huge shout out to RC, man. Created me such amazing uh, new Helium 2025 uh, FXR gear. It's really beautiful, man. And literally, it's just the fact that he creates it all from scratch. So, super sick, dude. Like that jump. I saw a freaking lens on the 450 literally popping up a whole quad there. And I'm like, dude, you're just no. Man. I'd be sick if we can get that much speed. And it, it, it goes to show, man, it's very impressive the fact that we, us, us on 250s, like us 250 people, really wanting to work hard on this on this track with a 250, man. You can see how much more you can pull on this track with a 450, and then, like, you get on a 250 and you're lugging, dude, where it's just so hard to keep your momentum up. But it's a good challenge. I don't know why. I just enjoy that. Nice. Felt nice. Felt natural. I think it's just a lot of shifting with 1250 to find that highest RPM all the time. Look what this inside looks like. Bad, dude. I don't know. I feel like, like I said, man, race pace. Like, if I was in a, like a good moto right now, I think I would have been like in a top ten at least. Like, I'm not saying I'm pushing P and having like the fastest man alive, but at least consistency wise, I'm definitely in a top ten right there. And I just have not been able to show my skills off on that. Like, only Hangtown, only Hangtown, and honestly, I didn't even place really good when I was in Hangtown. But it was like the thought that counted. I was definitely in like a top twenty, top twenty kind of guy. Nah, 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 I shouldn't say top 20, like 25. Like anywhere from like the 25 era to to, to to 20. And I'll take that. Like if that's me, that's me, you know? All right, last lap. Here we go. This track does break down pretty nice though, but you can see how one line it, lined like it is. Like literally everybody's just using the exact same line over and over and over. Fifth gear. Come on. Scrub that. Nice. Yeah, I really do enjoy it. I don't know. I'm, I see myself just shifting a lot, man. I like the shifting aspect of a, of a bike sometimes. Just over and over and over again. It feels nice. It feels really good. Sometimes I just kind of get bored to where it's like I'm only in one gear the whole time. At this point, too, as well, I'm just trying to find that rev limiter at all times. That's what I also enjoy about it. It would have been nice if, like, the Yamaha makes a quick shift. I know if, like, this would have been a KTM, that would have been naughty. What just happened? What just happened? Why, why did my bike just fall down like that? What the heck? Oh, heck no. I'm stuck in a well, dude. Dude, what the heck was that, bro? <laughs> bro, my bike literally just veered off to the left. Lost all power. I'm like, uh, hello? Yeah. I don't know. This is more of a... A subtle slow talk not really high caliber kind of video for me man usually i'm like super having fun with the community but i wanted to make a video on this track and i was really hoping to to qualify like i said man i was just i knew what i did wrong and it was literally right here if i would have kept that speed up instead of trying to take the inside man i would have would have definitely been better off you know what i mean probably having a video today actually racing but no biggie i'm not mad at it you can't be mad at it 
to be honest, you know? Video game. Have more fun racing with the freaking community. It's just good to show your skills off and work on to the next one. So, Red Butt, here we come, baby. We got Wizzy right here. Got inside on a little GG, baby. Thank you guys for watching, man. Great. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll go ahead and show my little tire setup. Um, I, don't, I didn't change my tire pressure this time around, but usually I'm running a 90, and I went to the 110, and I dropped down to a 11.2 and a 10.9. That's kind of really where I run. If you guys want to give that a go, give it a go, but I think that's a really good tire mess up, mesh up, especially for the new update. But, uh, let me know how you guys feel it. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy, Abby S. Kelso. Pop, 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 pop,